Hey guys, Scott from the TheRecordingSolution.com. I'm going to shoot a quick tutorial on Melodyne. It's a great tuning, timing, uh, all kinds of different things you can do for vocals, instruments, just to make everything sound a little bit better if you have problems. It's uh, very good for tuning vocals. I like to use it to slightly tune vocals. I try to get my singer to sing on key as much as possible, but there's always slight tuning issues that we can correct and I try to make it sound as natural as possible. The first thing you got to do is put Melodyne on your insert here on the track and then you would transfer the audio audio in and I'm only going to do this first little section right here and so you would hit transfer right here and then hit play. There's a picture of a baby crying cuddled up in daddy's arms. All right. And you would go through the whole song, of course, to get it in there. But I'm just going to do this little clip for training purposes. If you hit this little tool right here, and then you come down here and right click to zoom in, I hit this magnifying glass, and then I like drag and move. So I'm dragging to the right, spread it out, and then I'm moving down to kind of make it bigger. And then come back here, grab the hand tool. And there, I think we can see it all right there. Okay, so there's a little bit of tuning issues on this first line. So I thought this would be a good tutorial. First thing I do, grab this pointer, and I would highlight it. You can do it a couple different ways. So you can highlight all of it right there, or edit select all if you wanted to do a full tune on the whole vocal track but I'm just going to do that selection and then you can do and I want to make sure that I'm in melodic which is only one note at a time one note at a time and so that's op obviously a voice is only singing one note at a time percussive would be drums or any type of sound effects that's percussive that Melodyne can't really detect a note from and then polyphonic would be like piano guitars thing that have multiple notes to make chords so right now for a voice we're doing melodic and I highlight everything and then I can correct pitch I'm sorry not the lines but the actual blobs are the notes and as I move this to the right you'll see those blobs moving a little bit that's correcting the pitch at 48 percent 50 percent and so obviously we don't want to completely correct a natural good singing voice that's in tune for the most part I just want to do a little bit a little bit at a time so I would if I did the whole thing I'd probably I don't know go up to like 80 percent and see what that sounds like so let's start here there's a picture of a baby crying cuddled up in daddy's arms there's a picture of a baby crying cuddled up in daddy's arms. And then before, so I'm going to bypass it. There's a picture of a baby crying cuddled up in There's a picture of a So picture, I think it's a little flat, but that's before Melodyne right here. There's a picture of a baby crying Here's after. There's a picture of a baby crying I feel like the picture. Pi is a little bit more in tune so before it's a picture of a baby after it's a picture of a baby crying cuddled up in daddy's arms so that's how you slightly tune a vocal of melodyne you can also do individual tuning of the blob so you would select it the blob i'm holding that you can but you would go to um, I don't like chromatic pitch, so go to time grid. No snap. That means if I tried to move it up, it would snap. I don't want to do that. I just want to slightly move things up. So I'm going to take pitch grid, no snap. So let's hear that real quick. Cuddled up in daddy's arms. It's a picture of a baby crying cuddled up in daddy's arms. So if you wanted to tune dad, 
You could slowly move it. Up in daddy's arms. Obviously, I'm not, it doesn't really need that much tuning. I'm just showing you how you would do it. If it was a little sharp or a little flat, you can move it up or down and tune it to ears. Tune it to your ears and what sounds good with the music. Make sure you do it with the music, context with the music. Up in daddy's arms. You can move this up. His arms. Up in daddy's arms. Day All right, in the second verse, I want to work on something on timing issues. If you listen to this phrase right here, I think it's time. I think it's time that I call we catch up. When he says think it's time, I feel like the think it's is a little too late. It's kind of bothering me. I know it's nitpicking, but it doesn't feel smooth. Think it's, time that I it's just like a little late and it's been bothering me. So you could manually go in here and cut this right here, break it, move it over, and get it timed right. Or you can use Melodyne. And so I transferred it in. And then I went to, selected the blob, think it's time. Go to note, uh, I'm sorry, um, timing tool. Now I want to start the beginning a little earlier. So I'm just going to drag it. Right on that beat right there, downbeat. And I think I'm gonna drag the beginning of that right there, just trying to get it back to where it was. So let's hear what that sounds like. Take it out of bypass, here we go. Maybe just a little more. Yeah, so before, I'm gonna bypass it. Here we go. Graduation. Thing is time that I call. Graduation. Thing is time. After. Graduation. Thing is time that I call. We catch up. Cool. That's how you can fix some slight timing issues in Melodyne. You can go crazy with it and make things sound really weird. But I just wanted to show you a quick little introduction to Melodyne if you haven't used it before. Very, very powerful tool, tuning, editing, timing issues, things like that. So check it out, Melodyne. Thanks for watching, Scott, at therecordingsolution.com. Please subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, you can go to therecordingsolution.com forward slash free dash tools. You can get a free ebook there talking all things home studio, setting it up, and how to get the best out of your home studio. Also, have a free EQ chart, and you get free trainings delivered all the time to your email address, all different topics of recording, mixing, anything you want to talk about audio. And I'm there to answer questions as well if you have any questions on your projects. So, ScottRecordingSolution.com. We'll see you next time. Peace.